Hello and welcome back to some more Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Era, where last time we finished up Chapter 1, today we'll be starting up Chapter 2, where the, the most recent thing that happened is that we discovered an interesting burn mark on the floor of the ISU residence uh, that no one knows anything about, so who knows what, what happened over there, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll find out a little bit more about exactly how that burn mark got there today. Let's, let's get started. Can we just go straight to the ISU residence, or do I have to talk to this guy first? It looks like we can just go straight there. Cool, okay. Yeah, so we're going to begin our investigation, and the, like I said, the first thing I want to try to find out more about is what in the world is going on with that burn mark. Because we found, we found the burn mark on the floor, and no one had even the slightest idea. Like, everyone's just like, oh, the burn mark, huh. I haven't the faintest idea what that's all about, but we also, um, also, Akane was like, oh no. I, if only, like, I, she, was, she, was, she was stunned by it, um, and she was like, if only I had done this, or whatever, something like that. And it's just like, okay, well, you, you want to tell me more about what you're talking about there? No? Okay. Good morning, Mr. Zenzu. Good morning, Sir Magic. Sir Kanji is in the living room, and I'll introduce you to him. Please follow me. It's a, it's, it's Kanji Ayashiro. He's, he's Kiku's nephew. Alright, let's see. Let's, all right, let's go to the living room. See if we can. Please, I'll show you the way. See if we can ask him about his, uh, about, about his son that we, because well, we, we found his son here. Uh, or we didn't, but Akane says that his son was also here, kind of soaking around in the backyard. So let's see if we can find some introduction, introduction, information. Excuse me, Sir Kanji. Sir Magic, the detective has arrived. Hmm. Taking a I was taking a breather. This had better be important. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry to bother you like this. I won't keep you long. I just have a few questions. Hmm. Fine. I don't want to say no and then have you spreading rumors about me. Uh, uh, yes, that's exactly what a detective is in the business to do, is spread rumors about people they're investigating. Alright, well, let's just start talking. First things first, uh, you. I know I might be stepping out of line here, but would you mind telling me about the contents of the will? I knew you'd ask. I took notes when the will was read. Feel free to read them. Ah, that's helpful, thank you. That is extremely helpful, actually. Let's see, the notice about Aishiru, so uh, Shoji, and Kiku's personal property. It says, all rights as chairwoman would now belong to the bearer of the symbol of the successor, Yuri Ayashiru. Yuri Ayashiru? Half of all assets will go to Yuri. The other half will be split up evenly among Kanji, Jiro, and, and Asuza. In other words, one person was chosen to receive all of Ayashiru's corporation's rights and half of Kiku's assets? Is Yuri that important to her? And what's this about a symbol of the successor? I, well, I imagine there's something uh, among those. Like, if, th that shouldn't be too unfair. Just, just ask, hey... Is there, was there any kind of a, a necklace or any kind of me metaphorical symbol that was left behind? That should be pretty easy to, to figure out about. Uh, let's, yeah, okay, so we can ask about Yuri. Ask this, uh, I guess we'll, we'll go top, top, uh, top down about Yuri. Uh, so, who is Yuri? I believe she's a character from Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, the chairwoman's only daughter. Oh, and suddenly another piece of the puzzle falls into place. I mean, like, th that was the least of my concerns. I'm like, I I can believe that there that one member of this freaking family would be important enough to her to receive that large of a chunk of the assets. Um, and that knowledge helps context contextualize that a little bit further. So I'm like, yeah, that that makes perfect sense. Uh, but she ran, but she ran away from home 20 years ago and hasn't been seen. Oh, that's, hmm. Uh, okay, that makes things a little harder. Wow, that's a bit of a dick move, actually. It's like, yeah, so half of my everything is going to, is going to someone who no one has any idea where where they are. That's a bit of a dick move, okay. Uh, it's, it's like saying, I give all of my everything to Santa Claus. Good, good luck. Good luck with that one, buddy. Uh, Kiku had a daughter and she's missing? That, this, that, we got some, that's a lot of information here, buddy. Okay, now for the symbol. Uh, what's the symbol of the successor? I don't know what it is exactly. Apparently, it's something that only immediate family members can receive. It's irrelevant to us secondary relatives. Then that would mean even Zenzu, who's been here so long, might not know about it either. I mean, he has a better chance than you would, because he, he's the butler, he knows everyone. But if a legitimate successor doesn't show up, the Ayashiro Corporation is to be run by us relatives, obviously. That's the, that's the other thing that makes no sense here, is that like... So it's all about timing it with the... It's like, oh, what a what a coinky dink that she died at the time of her will was read, but it's like... Killing her isn't really gonna change anything, right? Because, like, the, the implication behind ti attempting to tie the the death with the time at which the will was read is like, Oh, someone didn't like that they didn't get a good share of the will. Guess they gotta, guess they gotta kill someone now. But that doesn't make sense because she wrote the will. Like, if you, if you wanted to change the will, killing her isn't gonna, is a pretty counterintuitive way to accomplish that task. 
what, what, what would make more sense is if, if, if one of the recipients of the of some of the assets died instead, and then it's like, okay, this now things getting more interesting. But it's the, the fact that the 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 one who died is the one who um who is the one who wrote the will. That's where things get a little murky. I'm not entirely certain. So I, I don't know. It's just it's it, it's intriguing to say the least. So I don't I don't know that I can really tie the motive to to that kind of motivation. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, what else can we talk about? Uh, we can talk about, uh, let's, 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 let's ask about you, uh, because you, uh, Akane said that he was, sh uh, sulking around previously, so let's see if we can get some details. He's my son, he's 23 but unemployed, he spends most of his time just fooling around. That, that's, that's in line with what we've heard of him so far. I heard Akira visited here on the day the will was read. What? I didn't know that, and besides, Akira wouldn't have, no have known about the will being announced. They said Akira would visit Kiku in her room from time to time, but... Was it just a coincidence? In the mystery story, probably not. All right, who can we call and engage? Uh, does the butler have anything interesting to say? Yes, can I help you? Uh, well, there's some yellow words, so let's 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 ask him about these things. Uh, I di I didn't know Miss Kiku had a daughter. I really am surprised that Lady Yuri's name is in the will. She's Mistress Kiku's daughter. She's very beautiful and kind. Which you know, because you've spoken to her over the past 20 years. Uh, something happened in the past and she left. We don't even know where she is. So you so you know enough about her to describe her as very kind and you know her personality, but you don't know and you don't know anything about the circumstances surrounding her departure. Interesting. Alright, let's ask about this symbol. What's the symbol of the successor? Surely someone will be able to tell me. I don't... No one knows, really. Lady Yuri has it? Okay, well. Uh, that doesn't really help me all that much. Uh, now does it, buddy. Do you know anything about his son, while we're still on the screen? Mr. Zenzu? Oh, he appears to have zoned out. He looks like he wants to say something, I wonder if there's a reason he's holding back. Hmm. Well, uh, if I were a betting man, I'd say that if he knows something he does, but he's hesitant to say it, I'd probably have something to do with the fact that Senior Grumpy Pants over here uh, is, 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 is in the room right now, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait till we, we'll, we'll, we'll wait till he leaves, and then we'll ask the butler what's going on, uh, what else can we, is there anything else, you, is there anything else you know that I need to ask you about, uh, nothing in, nothing in particular, all right, well then in that case, I guess we should, uh, okay, we can call and engage someone else, we can call, okay, before we call Yuri into the room, is there anything else that we need to, uh, know about, okay, we can look at, look at, mm hmm should we look at look? Should we look at Zenzu? Maybe if we stare at him, it'll, it'll it, it, he'll, he'll tell us what's going on. Does he want to tell me something in private? Oh, can oh can we can we now travel to somewhere private to, to talk? Okay, so I so I was correct. Staring at him intensely caused him to to want to open up to me. But Zenzu, I need to check something in Miss Kiku's room. Are we done here? Well, I'm done with you. I'm not quite. I'm afraid I'll be back after I check the room. Never mind. I guess we're not done with you. Seriously? <laughs> All right, detective. Whatever you say. Oh, I'm so sorry that I'm inconveniencing you with my murder investigation. What a horrible thing. Kiku's bedroom. Mr. Zenzu, did you want to tell me something back there? You seemed a bit hesitant. Quite amazing, sir. You see right through me. Uh, sure. We'll go with it. So, now that we're alone, can you tell me anything about Akira? I couldn't say this in front of Sir Kanji earlier, but supposedly Sir Akira has been arrested by the police a few times. Hmm. 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 Uh, that said, I don't think that, I don't actually think it's gonna tie into the murder. I think it's gonna be like he's a creep who stalks around places because that that looked like what he was doing is he was just like sulking around randomly behind the house like a like a complete like a complete creep. So uh, I just I, I I'm guessing that's what that's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be anything like strictly violent in terms of I don't I don't think I don't I don't think we'll be able to use it to tie into the murder in any way. What the police? That's that's all I wanted to share. Understood. Mr. Kanji is waiting, so let's head, let's get back to him. I mean, I, that was honestly kind of underwhelming. I, I thought I thought I thought it'd be something much juicier than that, but uh, it appears that it was not. Anyway, what's going on? Why did you make me wait? You made me smoke again. It's just, okay, okay, sure. Uh, is there anything else we need to talk to you about? Since we appear to be stuck, do I, do I just need to run through all the things again? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I, back at it again with the I forgot to tell you. An attorney named Kanda was involved in drafting this will. Okay. Huh? Kanda? Uh, can you tell me anything about this person? What can you tell me about the lawyer, Kanda? 
He's a legal advisor from Ayushiro Corporation. The chairwoman trusted him a lot. We consult with him often. Okay. Is that all you know, or is there more? He's the legal advisor. No, okay, that, that, that appears to be all you know. Okay. Is there anything else that, that you can tell me? Uh, have you noticed anything else strange about Kika recently? Nope. Zenzu seems to have his doubts, but the doctor confirmed that she died due to medical reasons. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um... I know it's your job, but it sure, it sure is a lot for you to come all the way out this place. I, I already went over the stuff with the doctor last episode. I know you're busy, but so am I. Now that the chairwoman isn't around, I need to keep this company going. I'll handle the actual corporation. Uh, what I meant was just leave the company to me and you, and everything will be fine. That's a that's such a cartoonishly obvious thing to say that I'm going to go ahead and say that you have nothing to do with the murder whatsoever, because I don't think the game would tip its hand this early. Um, I strongly doubt that. Anyway, so that's all you know about the, the attorney, but what, is, what does the butler know about the attorney? Anything special? Can I help you? Uh, I certainly hope so. Let's find out if you know anything. Can you tell me about the lawyer, Kanda? He is the legal advisor for both the Ayushu family and Ayushu Corporation. Mistress Kiku really trusted him. As Sir Kanji mentioned, Sir Kanda was present for the reading of the will. Come to think of it, Sir Magic. You've never met Sir Kanda before, have you? No, I have not. Should I take the opportunity to meet him? He is the legal advisor. Yeah, okay. Uh, for this reason, he was present for the announcement of the will. Yeah, okay. You already, you already told me that. Uh, there, can I guess we'll, I'm just, that's the thing. I, I eventually just the it just kind of boils down to check every single dialogue option until eventually something works. Uh, I'd like to know more about Mr. Yuri and the symbol of the successor. Hmm. I think you have to speak with Sir Jiro or Lady Azusa. Lady Azusa should be home shortly. As for Lady Yuri, some of the villagers may know something about her. Okay. So do we need to... Do we need, do we need to leave? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna finish up going through all these options and then I'll leave and see if we can find them. I don't know, but I imagine Lady Yuri has it. Okay, you're, that's the same as before. How about this one? Uh... I think you have to speak with Sergio or Lady Azusa. Lady Azusa... Yeah, okay, this is what you already told me. Alright, well then I guess, I guess we gotta... I guess we gotta go on a quest. Uh, never mind, we can't leave. Are you done? I really am a busy man. Yes, for now. I appreciate your, corpor your cooperation, Mr. Kanji. And he's gone. Okay, can we finally leave? Thank you, Mr. Zenzu. I think I'll go inter and interview some villagers. Then you should go to the station. You are sure to find villagers there. Alright, then to the station I shall go. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, if there's one thing I have to nail down this game in terms of, like, flaws, it's just the fact that sometimes you can get stuck in locations and have no clue what to do because you just have to keep looping dialogue options until eventually something works. Uh, anyway, we're here now. Uh, so is there anyone... Let's talk to nearby people. Hey, villagers! Anyone happen to know anything? Hello? Excuse me. Yeah, what is it? May I have a quick word with you? Oh, are you the detective people we're talking about? Sure, what do you want to ask me? I would like to ask you about a lot of things, starting with, uh... Uh, let's go top to bottom. Can you tell me anything about the Ayashiro family? That family is cursed. Their wealth is built upon the grudges and suffering of many people. I can't say that Kiku being murdered is just a rumor either. Uh, I mean, you're talking to the detective in charge of the case, so... Uh, built upon the grudges of many people, another villager said that you only hear bad things about that family too. Okay, um... Let's see, moving on, we can talk about... The legend, yeah, let's, let's ask about the legend. I heard that there's a legend pertaining to the Ayashiro family in this village. They say Kiku will rise from the grave on the night of the full moon. I wonder who the victim will be this time. If I were you, I'd get out of here. Stick your nose in their business and Kiku will... Yeesh! How dreadful. Well, sadly, it's kind of my job to stick my nose in their business, so... Night of the full moon, that's a little creepy. Oh, you don't say, buddy. Uh, we can also ask about the... Yuri, because Yuri's pivotal. She was... She was beautiful and loved by everyone. She was the lone flower that bloomed within that curse-ridden family. So I've heard. And finally, anything about the symbol? I heard that the Ayushu family has a symbol that proves who the true successor is. You know anything about that? A symbol that proves the true successor? I don't know about that, but it sure sounds creepy to me. Yeah, well, so is everything about the situation, but I would still hope for some information. Alright, that didn't help. Does the clerk know anything? This stupid clerk, I feel like I've talked to you a thousand times by now. Uh, yes, may I help you? Yeah, I... One would hope, but you're, you also seem kind of useless in life, so who knows. The dead coming back to life. This thing about it gives me the chills. What a useful thing you've just told me. How about the symbol? You know anything about the symbol? 
I mean, I don't know why you would. Never heard of that. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, how about how about Yuri? Since everyone has nothing but positive things to say about her, do you want to mix it up a little bit? Do you know Yuri Ayashiru? I heard she was quite beautiful. Everyone keeps telling me. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Working here, I hear all sorts of rumors. And and the conversation ended. D okay, lovely. Uh, if there are rumors about her, maybe we can go. Since clearly you aren't going to tell me anything, does the other person happen to know anything about? Uh, also, I love how her name is Villager B. Uh, d since that guy was useless, do you know anything about these rumors about Yuri? Ah, if you really want to know about Yuri Aishiro, you should ask Dr. Kumada. I'm sure he has tons to share. Does he now? Dr. Kumada? I would not have bet on that name being where I had to go next, but alright, duty calls to the Kumada Clinic. Let's go. Kumada Clinic, let's see how our investigation pans out here. Hello, friend. Hey, Dr. Kumada. Oh, you need something. I uh, yes, actually I do. I need you to tell me about Yuri. Since everyone's telling me that Does anyone know how to describe her other than just immediately fawning over her? What's the matter, Doctor? Your cheeks are getting No one's seen her in 20 years, right? How is it okay. It's nothing. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, okay. You wanna can we, can we try again? Do you actually know anything or are you just gonna blush some more? Do you have a thing for Yuri? It seems like the whole world had a thing for Yuri. What are you talking about? If you want to know more about Mystery, you should ask Genshin. Did... What... We're just playing a telephone game. It's like, oh, ask that person, ask that person, what that person said, what that person said. It's just a telephone game. Just... Can someone please give me a straight answer? Ugh, come on. There's nothing for you to be ashamed of, you know? I'm not... I should go. Get out of here. Great. Lovely. All right. Well, then I guess we're going to the temple. What a... What a... What a wonderful use of my time. Freaking... It's walking in on you... Filating yourself over a person who, who's, who's been gone for 20 years. But, you know, finds whatever. Alright. Hello again, good friend. Word on the street is, Yuri is an angel. But there's also some rumors about her. You wanna tell me? Hmm? Oh, it's you. What's the matter? Hello, sir. I'm actually back because I have a few questions. So let's go ahead and ask those questions. Uh, first things first, Yuri. Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. What do you know about Yuri Ayashiru? I knew you would come across that name eventually. Very well, I shall tell you. Yuri is Miss Kiku's only daughter, so I've heard. Yes, I'm aware, but I heard she's missing right now. Right, the thing about Yuri is, 20 years ago she met a young man who was visiting this village on business. Eventually they fell in love. However, Miss Kiku's husband strongly objected to their relationship. He didn't approve of the boy's social stature, but Yuri had already made up her mind and decided to elope with him. So that's what happened. Yuri was still her only child, so Miss Kiku must have given her the symbol of the successor. I couldn't tell you what the two of them are up to now, but I truly hope they're happy. Okay, seems like an innocent story at first glance, uh, but I'm sure... I'm sure there's going to be uh, some interesting things to be revealed about this, since apparently Miss Kiku's husband did not quite uh, jive well with who uh, Yuri decided to marry, but you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Anyway, since we're here, do you know anything else? Uh, do you notice anything unusual about Miss Kiku before she died? No, I don't think so. Miss Kiku was always so kind to me. We used to just talk and talk. It's a terrible loss. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll, just, I guess we'll just start looping around from top to bottom. Do you know anyone by the name Akira? There's no point asking about the legend because he's, he's, he's the one who told us about it in the first place. Oh yes, Miss Kiku treated Akira as if he were her grandchild. But apparently Akira only saw her as just an old lady willing to give him allowance. Though she was aware of this, she still adored him because she never had any grandchildren of her own. Good to know. Uh, I guess we'll talk about the family as a whole. It seems like the villagers aren't the biggest fans of the Ayashira family. Hmm, I suppose that's true. I believe Miss Kiku's husband believed quite greedily back, uh, or behaved quite greedily back when he was in business, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, well, a long time ago, Yuri also disappeared, so clearly things that happened a long time ago are still affecting things that are happening today, but, you know. How about this lawyer who helped draft up the will? What do you know about him? Yes, he's Ayashiro's corporation's legal advisor. Miss Kiku seems to have trusted him. One would assume if she had him write up the will. Uh, and finally... I heard the symbol is a treasured item passed down through generations. However, I have absolutely no idea what it looks like. Then what good are you? That's pretty much all I can offer. Thank you. 
Well, if nothing else, he's he, he's he's a lovely person to chat to. I think we've talked to him about everything. Can we leave, or are we still trapped here? No, we're not trapped here. Okay. We finally talked to him. Um, I guess we'll just go back to the stupid clinic, and maybe maybe now that we've talked to the judge, maybe we'll actually be able to get something out of you. Oh, you have more questions? Uh, no, I have the same question I had last time. I'm just hoping that this time you'll actually be able to, to give me uh, something about it. Uh, what do you know? Hmm. I only know what I told you so far. What, that you, what, that you have a crush on Yuri? Oh, wow, what, what useful information? Anything else? Come to think of it. Uh, Asusa came today, too. She picked up some medication and left a minute ago. I'm sure she's back at the mansion by now. What wonderful timing. Sounds like Asusa was here today, too. Zenzu did mention that she'd return shortly. Well, I say this is some perfect timing. Back to the Ishiro residence we go. Okay. Hello, butler again. Welcome back, Sir Magic. Lady Asusa just returned. She's in the living room. Thank you. We have great luck when it comes to bumping into people that we have to, that we were just happened to looking forward to talking to. Oh, Mr. Detective, can I help you? Yes, I have a question for you. Do you have a minute? Very well, but make it quick. I will do my best, but it depends on how, uh, how kind the game is in terms of actually letting me progress through these things. Okay, starting with Akira. Do you know anything about Akira? Yeah, he's my brother's sorry excuse for a son. I bumped into him on the day that the will was read. Come to think of it, I think Akira was sneaking around talking to someone. Oh? Who was he talking to? Why don't you figure that out for yourself instead of- Oh, it's just... Oh, you are the worst, is what you are. And imagine being her. Imagine being questioned by a homicide detective and being asked an important question about who a potential suspect was talking to, and she's- And then you're like, oh, Figure it out for yourself. Oh my god. It's like, mmm... Well, that was a worthless rabbit hole to go down. Let's try uh, let's try another one. Oh, I may have someone about Jiru that might be of interest to you. The one who most troubled by my aunt's passing could be Jiru. What do you mean by that? There were lots of conflicts between Kanji, the CEO, and Jiru, the managing director within the company. I mean, one would assume that there were conflicts within the company, but okay. Kanji was kept on a tight leash while uh, Aunt Kiku was around, but now that she's gone, she, he has free over the company. So long as Kanji's around, Jiru will have to live in his shadow. Sounds like Kanji and Jiu are on bad terms. And yet they're both still alive, so... You know. Uh, I guess lots about the lawyer. He's the lead lies of the family, right? I heard he's clever. Supposedly he's advising the corporate side of things, too. Oh. Uh, do you know about... Does anybody... Does anybody in this universe know about what this freaking symbol is? I wouldn't know. I really has nothing to do with me. Well, it was, I, I, it was worth a shot. How about Kanji? You know anything about him? I don't think Kanji cares at all about my aunt's personal assets. More than that, I think he's more interested in having full control of the Aisho Corporation. He's probably praying for Yuri to never come back. Mm. Well, uh, unfortunately I'm not here to find Yuri, I'm here to figure out what happened to, uh, or, uh, find, figure out if Kiki was murdered and if she was by who. Uh, but I'm sure the two tasks will end up being interlinked at some point. Um, speaking of which, uh, did I actually ask about... Yuri? Uh, that's my question. And besides, aren't you a detective? Stop screwing around here and go find Yuri. She needs Yuri in order to receive a portion of the herons. That must be why she wants me to find her. Yeah, well, that's... I... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh... No, don't... Oh, I can take the phone? I can take a... Oh. Oh, I, uh... Hmm. Well, we appear to have hit a roadblock. I... Uh, okay. I, I didn't know the take command could be used with the phone, but we appear to not be... We don't know what to use the phone for, so I guess we're, uh, I guess we're stuck there. Alright, okay, uh, butler, please save me. D let's see if the butler does anything. Yes, may I help you? I, one would hope. Do you, I mean, I, I've, I've already asked you all these questions, but I'm just gonna ask them again because we appear to be stuck. Oh, that's right, I checked with the Kane, but the day, that day, Sir Akira was... Seen carrying a large package and wandering around the storage behind the mansion. I wonder what he was doing. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's go check out the storage area he was, exp uh, he was... Investigating. Storage? A large package? How curious. Uh, ooh, we have a new thing. Finally. Finally something new to talk about. The storage is behind the mansion. Also, I feel like this could have been useful information for her to tell me, not you, but you know. There are many valuable antiques inside, so they keep it locked. Well, I mean, we'll, I'm sure... I, I, I'm sure if it aids our investigation, we should be able to get in. Uh, anything else you want to tell me about the other people? He's a busy man. He seems to be working every minute of the day. I'm gonna go with the solid. Okay, can we just. Uh, 
Well, I guess I'll just, uh, mop up talking to other people. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Kanda, the lawyer? He's a great man. When Mr. Kiku passed, he comforted me and allowed me to express my feelings. He was the one who suggested I hired a detective. That's when he told me about an ace detective named Trevor who works at the Utsugi Detective Agency. What? Really? If you'd like to meet him, why don't you try calling him? So, ah, so that's what the phone is. Pound 16. Okay, so, so that's what the phone is for. Alright, well, we'll give it a shot. Pound 16. Ring, ring! You've reached the Kanda Law Office. I'm sorry, but you've called outside of office hours. What is this? How how, how, have we, how has it already been a full day? We've been going for like 20, 20 minutes or something like that. How has it already been a full day? Actually, how long have we been going for? Uh, okay, closer to, closer to 30 minutes, but still, still. It's, we've not been gone a full day. I don't blame them. It is pretty late. How? But didn't, didn't we just... We, the day just started. The day just started. Okay, well, that was worthless. Uh, is there anything else that you know before we try to go check out the storage space? Uh, that's a nope. Ah, were well, you able to ask the villagers about Lady Yuri? Yes, I was. It seems there are a bunch of other rumors floating around. I'm sure you heard some of the creepy ones. Yeah, I heard that Miss Kiku will, res will resurrect on the light of the full moon. Definitely creepy. The villagers love to create, the create drama. All they do is talk. Now that you mention it, I believe the full moon rises tonight. Oh, lovely. I'm sure this won't end badly. The full moon. I better get back to my office soon. It's almost midnight. I don't want to worry Ayumi. I also don't want to be caught out in the middle of the full moon in case it ends up- in case these rumors end up being true. Thank you, I think I'm all done for the day. Is that so? Well, please take care on your way home. Excuse me. Is that the end of the chapter? This is- this is how the last chapter ended, was with us going back to the office and, uh, speculating on, what we, on everything we knew. Welcome back! Had a long day, huh? I just got back as well. You were out of us getting this late too? Yep, anyway, about Aisha Corporation. That's a, okay, you, no, 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 you can't just bring that up and then drop it, no, okay, that's a, mm, 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 she was investigating something. I hear they're facing a lot of issues now that Kiku, who had total control before, is gone. Apparently, it's due to the worsening relationship between the president and the managing director. What? For now, it seems like Kanji has the upper hand as the president, but Jiro won't stay silent for long. I'm sure the tension between them will only continue to grow. In other words, Kanji will be faced with a whole new set of issues. I see, thanks, Yumi, that helps a lot. Awesome. Seems like my hard work paid off. Let's organize all the information we gathered today. With our handy dandy speculate button. Let's start with Kanji. With its, with Kiku to CC effectively has full control of Ayashiro Corporation. But the situation clearly isn't ideal for Jiru. Asuza seems desperate to get her share of the inheritance. As for the woman named Yuri mentioned in the will who is currently MIA, she is supposed to fully inherit Kiku's rights as chairwoman. And one more thing, what was Akira doing near the storage? We're starting to get a good picture of the Ayashiro family and the inner workings of the Ayashiro Corporation. But our main mission is to uncover the truth behind Kiku's death, something which we haven't made much progress in. We shouldn't rush it. I got your back, so let's take our time and conduct a thorough investigation. You're right. Thanks, Ayumi. But for, for now, it's late. Let's get some shut-eye and continue the investigation tomorrow. I'll dig deeper into the Corporation and see if I can gather more information. I should probably check in with Amachi tomorrow. Oh yeah, remember that guy? Uh, that, that randomly found us, I guess it's time for us to, uh, to, f to f for him to become plot relevant again. Wow, that was a lot shorter. Okay, so not, okay, so maybe the first chapter was just longer because it's supposed to be the introduction. In that case, I might be able to blow through these chapters, I might be able to blow through one chapter a day moving forward. That, that'd be really convenient if I could, uh, get through this, get through, the, like, one chapter a day moving forward. That'd be really convenient. Um, good morning, Trevor. So you're heading straight to Miyujin Village again today? I'm debating whether to go to the Aishu residence or to visit Mr. Amachi. I haven't contacted him since that day. Ah, I see. Well, I'm gonna stick to my plan and see if there's more information I can get on Aishu Corporation. Sounds good. Be careful out there. You too, Trevor. And, okay, so this will be where we call things off today. Uh, that was kind of surprisingly short. I, I thought there'd be a bit more to, the, to that chapter, but, you know, time I, Honestly, that did not feel like a half-hour episode. That, that just flew by. Anyway, uh, so that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more Famicom Detective Club. Goodbye.